Well, Smiling Faces, beautiful places, South Carolina. We're here on travel again um, at mom's house doing some things and just reflecting over the holiday, preparing for the new year, and just thinking about our holiday meal, some new additions that we had, something new, something fun. So I decided uh, we have um, a couple of vegetarians in the family, people for different health reasons and different weight loss and several things and decided to do away with me. So what happens being from the Carolinas, we have so much meat on the table so often from the ham, the turkey, the standing rib roast, the lamb chops, the pork loin. I could go on and on. And our vegetarians have nothing to eat outside of the mac and cheese, collard greens, and sweet potatoes. So I thought about what can I do something that's fun, something that's good, and something that's easy. So what I have here is my finished product in front of you is an asparagus casserole. And I'm gonna talk you through the casserole. It's something very simple. We're being very laid back today and uh, just enjoying the day. So in thinking about our asparagus casserole, one of the first things that we do, we're just taking just regular fresh asparagus from the grocery store. You're cutting off those rough ends, washing them real good. And then you're gonna cut them in about one inch pieces. Now, in your pot, you're going to take um, two tablespoons of olive oil, a medium onion chopped in, two fresh garlic cloves, chop those down, let them get translucent. And then you're going to add your asparagus. Just let that start to cook. You want your asparagus to remain nice and tender, to have a crunch and a pop to them. You don't want to cook them too far because we still have to put them in the oven. So while we're doing that, tossing ever so often, in a separate bowl, you're gonna take a cup of heavy cream, two eggs, a cup of Gruyere cheese, and a cup of Gouda. And you're gonna whisk those things together. Whisking real nice. Right at the end, you're gonna add a teaspoon of black pepper, a half a teaspoon of salt, whisk again to continue. By that time, your mixture on your skillet is already tender and ready. So in your casserole dish, you're gonna put your mixture on the bottom. Then you're gonna pour your cheese and egg mixture on top of that. Because of the heavy cream, it's gonna be a little thick and that's what you want, things in there. The last thing you're gonna do, you're gonna take some panko bread crumbs with two tablespoons of melted butter, some salt and pepper, and a little paprika and mix those up together. And you're gonna put that on top of your dish. The last thing, in a 350 de degree oven, you're gonna add your casserole dish. You're gonna let it cook for 40 minutes until nice and bubbly. Now with your crust on the top, you're not gonna see a lot of bubbling up, but around your edges, you're gonna get a nice little bubble. And there you have it. It's that simple, an easy asparagus casserole, something that your vegetarians are gonna love you for, your non-meat eaters, those who are just being picky, your pescatarians, as we call them, and get it in and be ready to go. And you have a wonderful dish. You can see, or bring it a little closer, your lovely layers of your asparagus, then your gruyere and cream, and then your nice crumbles at the top. So, as always, you know I'm going in, Wonder. Oh man, see how that just pulls apart? And here we go. Let's see. Oh my goodness. It gives you a very nice crunch. You're still getting a, a slight crunch from your asparagus, the crunch from the panko. Wonderful. Something easy, something pleasing, something great for you. I will say this, this particular dish can just be served as a regular entree, a little side salad, or if you want to uh, do something easy, go to your grocery store and get that rotisserie chicken, just slice it off and put it alongside this. And there you have it. Easy peasy side dish, something great for the holidays, something great for every meal. Have a great day.